Okay, good evening. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd, and it is really late. It is 10, 23 p.m. I was not going to do this, but I figured if I didn't do this right now, I'm not going to do it tomorrow or in the next couple of days. First of all, um, I'm really happy to say that I have already gotten a couple of messages from, well, no, a few messages from a few of you uh, letting me know that you received the yarn, and I'm so excited. Um, I got to see um, one of you guys' um, samples, crystals. She sent me a picture of a, of, of um, crystal with chronically crocheting. She sent me a picture of her, um, <clears throat> of the little stitch, you know, what you do when you crochet when you're trying to test uh, or see how many stitches there are per inch, etc. And uh, I don't know how you guys do it to get your stitches to look so pretty, you know, and even and stuff like that. Mine look like jagged teeth all the time. I've been buying hooks left and right, thinking that it was the hook, and I have realized that it is not the hook. But let's get down to... Um, the reason why I am recording this video. I went to a um, yarn, the yarn store boutique actually here in Houston, and um, they were having a trunk sale is what I saw on uh, Instagram. So I decided to swing by there uh, a couple of weekends ago and see what it is that they had. And um, of course, as always, they have a bunch of beautiful stuff, but there was a lady there <clears throat> And uh, she was selling her yarn, Fangirl. That's what it was called, Fangirl Trunk Show. And um, I bought a couple of, um, a few skeins of yarn from her. They're so beautiful. And, and um, then after I bought this yarn, I went a couple of days later, I went, um, well, I'll show you guys that, but check this out. I bought a couple of skeins of, actually, I think it was four, one, two, three, four skeins from, from her. Um, it says, fangirl hand-dyed yarn, east of the sun. This is superwash soft yarn, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon there are 100 grams here and 463 yards and it says that it's been hand dyed in rudy yard rude yard michigan and look at this beautiful color Ooh, that is so pretty wow it is pretty i know i said i don't like purple but this one when the sun hits it it looks so pretty even like that it looks so pretty so I bought two of these. Ooh. That's gorgeous. I bought this. And then, this is the same thing. It's the, you know, uh, Superwash Merino and the, and the nylon. But I bought it in this blue. And then I bought it in this green. So I got these, and then from the yarn store boutique, they were showing this one. It's called Twist Light M and T Madeline Madeline Tosh, and this is also hand dyed yarn, and this is also seventy five percent superwash merino and twenty five percent nylon. There are four hundred and twenty yards in here, and the name of this one is called It's Lit. And it is so pretty. I don't know why I've been gravitating so much towards greens and yellows. And I just took a shower. <laughs> um, look at that. That is so pretty. Do you guys, like, whenever you buy all of these these kind of uh, yarns, do you guys like cake them up immediately and then put them up? 
I don't know what to do with mine. I'm starting to collect more and more and more of these kinds of yarns. And um, I don't know if I should cake them up or if I should hang them all around the house. <laughs> I mean, all over the, the room, etc. I don't know. They're so pretty, though. But a couple of days later, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby because while I was at the yarn store boutique, there was a real pretty yarn there that I really wanted to buy. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I already bought that color or something real similar to it at Hobby Lobby. You know, their hand dyed yarn. And I was like, so I'm not going to get it. <clears throat> when I came home, I looked and I realized that I did not have that yarn. So I went to Hobby Lobby, of course, to go see. <laughs> and, and I did go on the week that they had their 30% uh, off of everything sale. And I bought it, but I know it's not the same color as the one I saw at the yarn store boutique. So I'm probably going to go back over there and buy a couple of those hanks. And uh, this is one of the ones that I bought too, actually. It's called Blue Vapor. And it is so pretty. It just reminded me of the rodeo for some reason. You know, like turquoise, etc. And so I wanted to do something with this in blue jean. And uh, can't wait to show it to you guys. And uh, I bought it. But I am going to have to go back to the yarn store boutique to buy the other one. Because I'm telling you. The colors that I saw reminded me of this. And I thought of this when I thought I had it. And I realized that I don't. So I had to buy it. So I got that there. And the other one that I got was this one called Plush Blush. So pretty. And it also reminded me of the rodeo for some reason. And uh, I want to make something with them. Do you guys cake these up immediately? Do you not? Um, while I was there. Oh, I forgot about this. <clears throat> oh, it's so cute. I bought it. I think I could have swore that I bought one already. It's so cute. Yarn rules. Is what it says. And then it has that. Okay. So that was, oh, and then I bought some of this yarn, Blended Bliss. I, I read, this is why I bought it. It says that it's 56% cotton, 35% acrylic, and 9% polyamide 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 it's 100 grams and it has 443 yards so i bought three of them figured i could make something for a little baby or for like a summer top or something like that so i bought this and <clears throat> i don't know why i don't even know what i'm gonna make i'm probably gonna make a couple of muscle shirts you know those razor tea bags or something like that but um i have been collecting these Every time I go, whenever I can, I'll buy two. I have that eggplant color. I have the uh, spring or April blossom, April bouquet, or something like that, put away already. And then I have Sunday denim. I didn't know which one to get next, so I figured I'd get this one. Once again, blues, yellows, etc. So that's all I got. That's it. That's all I got at... um. Hobby Lobby and at that yarn store boutique <clears throat> that I really love going to. I love their little room. Not their room. They started off with a tiny room and now it's like a big house and it's full of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yarn. Um, I didn't want to show you guys just more yarn that I bought or more trinkets and whatnot. Ooh. Speaking of trinkets though, I ordered a few, I, I told you guys, I've been ordering <laughs> hooks. Um, I'll show you this one. The tulip, this is in the size uh, 2.5 because I've been working on, I've been working on, on, 
on a lot of whips and I've been starting whips. I am like a true blue whip starter. And uh, so I've decided that I'm not going to start anything anymore for the rest of this week until I finish a few. And so I'm almost finished. I did, I worked on this one. Um, it is a blouse and I made it too long. I haven't added the buttons yet. And I did the sleeves and they fit and everything, but I'm probably going to make them a little bit, um, <laughs> I think one's longer than the other. I made them the exact same size. I placed them in the same area, but now I feel like I'm like this. I don't know. Anywho, so this is so easy to make. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm on this little pet. This is how I made it. This is how it looks from the back. I made it. It's too low from the back. And so I'm working on another one, and I probably will not make it the same way. I probably will attach these like down to here, like crisscross, you know, because it goes on. It has buttons. I can't <laughs> take this all the way off, but um, let's see, uh, it has buttons and they go. Well, it doesn't have buttons. It, it takes buttons. This one's not going to fit me. It's going to be super stretchy. This is weird. I was looking for a blouse or a pattern or a blouse that I could make that uh, would fit well, you know, and that wouldn't go all the way down to here and fit so big and whatnot. I don't know. I feel like now I feel like a big kid in a little coat. <laughs> We'll see how this fits later on. I just put it on right now because I wanted to show it to you guys. But uh, I'm making another one in a, in gray. I'm making another one. And I'm probably not going to make it as, um, as long as I make this too. I'm probably going to have it to where it, you know, drop, like where it finishes, where it falls right here instead of right here so I'll probably take out this many rows off of that one and I'll have it um and then I'll work this a little bit different the sleeve um it's so easy though all you have to do is work a tube so you measure yourself right you take the measurements from where you're the widest whether it's your hip or your breast area and then once you do that take that measurement you chain you know chain as many chains to reach you know that the all the way around and so you just crochet all the way up you make a tube and then at the end is when you'll add the sleeves to this part of the tube and then the back sleeve to this part so it's perfectly it works perfect like I love the way it does that I do like that part and I do like the fact that it's not um you know hanging all the way down to here and then you have to worry about you know your bra and all that stuff but I don't know I don't like the way the sleeves look right now right this second <laughs> <laughs> this one clearly looks a lot uh, smaller than this side. It's all the way up, and this one's all the way down. Oh, maybe it's because I have this thing like that. We'll see. I'm going to add the buttons, and then I'm going to... Um, oh, my God. This is going to end up, like, at a fire cell somewhere. You know, wherever, whenever people make, like, the big sleeve in one spot and they make a little beady sleeve somewhere else I'm probably gonna have to take it off and fix it from right here we'll see just i don't like the way it fits this one fits tighter than this one and i decided to go ahead and show you guys my finished object today when it's not even finished so We'll see what it looks like <laughs> next week or next month or next year, whenever I finish it. 
Um, I hope you guys had a great day today. I'm probably going to have to go take another shower because I am just sweating up a storm. Thank goodness my dogs are no longer barking. I can tell that I have to clean that glass because my little kitties have been messing around. Can you see my huge pile of <laughs> yarn? I have more stuff to show you guys. Seriously, I need to hurry up and put this stuff up and finish working on some more um, uh, whips. And I'm waiting on a tripod to get here. Not a tripod, a thingamabobber to hold the phone or the iPad so that when I record, I'll be able to do tutorials now. Um, I'm starting to realize that I suck at giving instructions and I'm still practicing a lot. And I am trying to get better at being able to write the patterns down. Um, that's it. I hope you guys have a great evening um, or a great rest of your evening or a great morning. I don't know when you'll see this video. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for joining me in this new venture. And uh, thank you so much for listening to me my ramblings and watching me <laughs> open all this stuff up. Hopefully, one of these days you'll be able to see me use up all of this yarn because that is my goal. Uh, once I finish, once I receive my last box of whatever it is that I'm getting, the goal will be for the rest of the year to work on everything that I have in here until I finish as much as I can up before the year is out. <clears throat> And so I feel that I've gotten to a good stopping point when it comes to the orders that I've been placing. So with the exception of stuff that I'll be giving away and stuff like that, I, I'm i not on a yarn ban. I'm not going to do that to myself. If I see something I really like, I'm going to buy it. But I am going to be a lot more conscious or make, uh, make more... Uh, 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 I'm not going to call them smarter purchases. I am going to be more conscientious when it comes to all of this consumption. You know, it's like, buy, 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 buy. And everybody's, including myself, you know, wanting to buy the latest and greatest of, I don't know, yarn. <laughs> and so I'm happy buying the yarn when it's on clearance, when it's on sale. And after everybody's tried it out and said what they like and what they don't. I don't have to be the first to purchase something and show you guys the latest and greatest yarn from here and there. I'm going to show you guys the latest and greatest yarn for me and what I like and um, and what I like to purchase. And I like to purchase stuff that's uh, real good quality. And I like to purchase stuff that's going to last me. And, um, and I like to purchase stuff that's not going to break the bank. How do you do that? Um, okay, that's it. I've already said goodbye like a gazillion times. You have a great evening.